What is the best display for the new Mac Mini M4? Is it this? This is the Samsung Viewfinity S9 5K IPS Smart Monitor. And it comes in at a much better price than the Apple Studio display. But should you buy it? And we're going to take a look at this display because there are some things I really like about it and some things I really don't. And spec wise, we're looking at a 5K panel, 218 PPI, P3 coverage at 99%. It's factory calibrated, comes with a matte coating on the display, one display port and one Thunderbolt 4 port and three USB-C ports on the back. It has 90 watts of power delivery and it comes with a modular slim 4K camera. And this thing is 5K, which is pretty sweet and the pre-calibrated profile is really nice on this display actually out of the box it it was like perfectly dcip3 and compared to the studio display which is 22.99 for the nano texture this comes in at 9.99 right now on amazon which is a much easier price to swallow in the box you get a remote I'm not sure if you want a remote for this and it comes with a power brick which I don't like either and the display stand is not as durable and amazing as the Apple Studio display but once you once you put it all together it definitely looks the part and actually this is cool because it rotates fully 180 which is really nice and it has tilt and swivel and that as I was saying that little magnetic slim cam just pops right on there once you peel that plastic off and set it on your desk yeah like I was saying it looks pretty good it's got a nice silver appearance to it and you can see the ports on the back a little cumbersome compared to the Apple Studio display and when you set this thing up you're gonna have to go through some settings man you gotta you're gonna have to log into your wi-fi you can't even get this thing hooked up to your computer until you do all of these things you're gonna have to download the updates for it um, because yeah you're gonna want to do that and once you finally go through all of the ui and the settings you're finally well let's see nope you're not you actually have to go through the smart tv features and then finally you can dig in and drill down and connect to your PC or Mac. And once you finally do that, you finally have a picture of your desktop. Man, that took forever. And then you can go in and drill down. I recommend setting this to P3 color. And then once you get that set up, you can start doing all of the other settings for it. Um, and yeah, check it out. Like next to the studio display, you know, the, the text clarity is perfect. It's 218 PPI, just like the Apple Studio Display. So depending on which model of the Studio Display you're used to, nano texture or the glossy, that may have a difference because the glossy screen will be slight, ever so slightly sharper than this display. But that's okay. If you like the matte coating, which some people do, that's gonna help with reflections in your room. And this also doubles as a smart TV, so you can log into your Netflix or all the other apps. So if you're looking for one monitor that does everything, this may be the one to use. Now, the cameras on it are different. The Apple Studio display here has a better camera in my opinion, but the 4K slim camera, it's not bad, it's just a wider angle and it's not the center stage camera of the Apple Studio display. So keep that in mind. And you can just cover it up or just remove that thing if you have no interest in it. Or you can put it back on, which is something that I did. Now, waking these two up, you can see the Apple Studio display on the right wakes up, obviously, instantly, because it's a Mac display. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And seeing these two next to each other, they kind of match they look pretty good next to each other adjusting the height and and everything on the studio display is so much simpler with one finger whereas on this display you have to use both hands to do that and calibrating this it calibrates very well and like i was saying the default 
P3 profile was actually essentially spot on. I just had to do a minor calibration to get these two to match up. And once I did that, seeing these two side by side, they really proved to be a good duo. If you're adding another display on your desk, they match pretty well. One thing you're gonna notice with the Viewfinity S9 is the angle of view is worse than the studio display. You're gonna get some color shifting, brightness shifting, and that's one thing that um, the studio display does not suffer with as much. The studio display is just solid, it's so good. In my opinion, the studio display is still the GOAT, but when you look at these side by side, you can calibrate them pretty much identically and get the exact same results essentially. But the other issue to bring up is backlight bleed on the S9, as you can see here. It's pretty bad, um, in my opinion. The, st the studio display does a really good job, and then at extreme angles, you're gonna get washout on the S9, whereas the studio display just holds up so well. And for use with like a Mac Mini, the new Mac Mini M4, man, if you're looking for one display, I think this could be a good option for you because it's so cheap compared to the studio display. And you're gonna get that 218 PPI plus the 99% of the DCI P3 coverage, which is fantastic. Is it gonna be as felt and beautiful as the studio display? No, but it, it it's going to do the job for you and if you're looking for the best bang for buck for getting everything done for content creation productivity graphic design photography and you want the best color reproduction plus you get a built-in 4k camera and smart features like a smart tv this could be great for a college student or someone that has a smaller space that's just looking for one display to do everything that doubles as a tv this could be the one for you. So those are those are my thoughts on this display. I think it's a great option for all of us looking for a display that does everything for us. And I think it pairs really well with the new Mac Mini with M4. So if you get a chance, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like today's content and ring the bell to get notified when I drop new content. And I'll see all of you guys on my next video.